Katie, I'm a second year drama student studying at Canterbury Christchurch University and today I thought I would talk to you about the university accommodation and my experience on living here. So what I find is that for your first year staying in university accommodation is like a must. It is sort of your first point of contact with friends, it really emerges you into university life and the student lifestyle and it's just something less to worry about. You can just focus on your university because where you live is just sorted for you. So I really recommend staying here at the university accommodation. They also have loads of accommodations to choose from. You can view that on the university website. They have a whole page just for the accommodation. So the university offer loads of different accommodation ranging from different prices so it can cater for what you can afford. I stay at Parham Road and I really enjoy this accommodation. It's close to all the shops I need like Asda and Lidl. Um, it's a 15 minute walk into town so it's not too bad. It's probably the furthest one away and that's only 15 minutes. That's not bad at all. And I'd say Parham Road is moderately priced. I think I pay around 150 a week. Um, so that is pretty decent for the accommodation here and the rooms are pretty good as well. Um, I've really just enjoyed staying here. So if you do happen to apply for the accommodation at this university, you are guaranteed accommodation for your first year. I think that's amazing, that is just one less thing to stress about, you know, that's sorted for you. So if you do apply for the accommodation, you can apply through the accommodation portal which is on the university website and that gives you sort of your three top main choices to choose from. So I chose all my accommodations for Parham Road because of the price ranging it was perfect for me. It's not too much and the accommodation itself was very decent for those prices. So I would recommend choosing en suites just because it makes it a bit easier adjusting to your own space away from home. I mean, if you prefer to share a bathroom, then of course go for it. Um, just in my experience, I think having an ensuite just adds that little bit of luxury to your accommodation. When you move to university, I'd say that the people you live with are your first group of friends you make, and they can be your friends for life. The only issues you'd probably have with them is maybe noise, and within your contract it says that there can't be like disturbances between 10 p.m. and 8 a.m. So obviously, if they're being noisy within that time, you can just remind them about that. Uh, probably another um, problem that might arise would be the routine of keeping the kitchen and communal areas clean. I know a lot of people tend to just sort of cook their food and leave the washing up. I would recommend trying to wash as you go. Just clean as you go, clean up after yourself. There's no mess and no hassle for anybody. So I would therefore recommend that you make a group chat so that you can communicate through all of that. There will be bi-weekly um, inspections for the kitchens, so you can also just remind them that. So, yeah, so applying for the university accommodation is very easy, you apply for the accommodation portal, it's about a six week process to review your application and once you have the application you can then find accommodation you've been offered and then from there you can then look up Facebook pages that are, that are formed groups for those specific um, accommodations. So yeah, I have a single room and within this room you get given a wardrobe, some drawers, a desk, obviously you have your bed and on that bed you get given a mattress protector so you can't change things like curtains or um, add any sort of like other white goods like um, more drawers and stuff you have to keep it as it is and um, you're also not allowed to put posters on the walls or blue tack sellotape because obviously that damages the walls and you will be fined so try and sort of keep any sort of alterations to the bulletin board that you get given so I would recommend for when you move in try and move in as early as possible and um, that way you can sort of claim the cupboards like what cupboards you want straight away so i did this i think i reached my university accommodation at like 9am so i was like the first one in and i claimed the best cupboards that i thought that i would like it's quite handy just to like claim the best cupboards straight away because in my first year i made that mistake what i did is that i moved in i was the first one there but i unpacked my kitchen stuff last so i got the worst cupboards so try maybe as soon as you move in unpack your kitchen stuff then you can claim like what fridge shelf you want and the freezer shelf and then you can claim what cupboards you want in the kitchen so i think that is covering everything but overall i've enjoyed my experience in university accommodation one less thing to worry about there's university accommodation to accommodate 
for all different price ranges. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching this tour and explanation of accommodation. If you have any questions, leave them down below. And if you want to see any more videos from the student vloggers at Canterbury Christchurch University, subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, then please like. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye.